leave his hatred and bitterness behind that he was still in prison. So he made up his mind he was going to leave all those traits behind. All the hurts, all the pain, all the bitterness, all the unforgiveness so that he can be free. Do you know that every time you are angry with those who hurt you, you have cooperated with them to negatively impact your life. As a matter of fact, when people hurt you, when they offend you, they hurt you, they fight you, they have negatively impacted your life. To, to be offended or to allow their offense to get into you and for you to refuse to forgive them is to cooperate with them to negatively impact your life. Nothing weakens a man in life like negative emotions. Negative what? Emotions. One of them is unforgiveness, hatred, bitterness, animosity. The way of love is the winning way because the way of love is the way of God. For those of us that were here yesterday, we read from a simpler translation he said, love does not give up. What doesn't have the ability to fail, to faint, and to give up is something that will reach the top. It will win every argument. It will win every battle. And like I gave a very simple analogy yesterday, Jesus came with only two miracles, two gifts. One, love. Second, miracle. In fact, in technical term what he came with was not love and miracles but just love because all the miracles he performed he performed them out of the bowel of compassion you will read and he had compassion on them what is compassion it is the passion of the comforter at work that's love compassion is love in action it's different from pitying somebody The way of love is the way of God. And the way of God is the winning way. So if you want to win through life, you need love in your life. And since God never fails, anyone who lives and walks in love can never fail. Amen. So my advice to all of us today is very simple. Get rid of all hatred and bitterness today. And let love lead you throughout your life and destiny. Let me read this scripture and then we'll begin to pray. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7. For God hath not given unto us what? Has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of what? That means power can be imparted. Love can be imparted. In case you are loveless, you can actually be loveful. You can be imparted with grace to love. And as you are listening to me tonight, all I have to give you is love. How did Jesus love the world so much that he was willing to die like his father sent him? In yesterday's morning devotional guide, I told us from yesterday's devotional guide that there were two factors. One, the father loved the world so much that he did what? He gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish. John 3, 16. The same chapter, verse 35. The father loveth the son and had given all things into his hands. So, which one do we take? The father loveth the world and he gave his only begotten son. The father loveth the son the love he has for the world and the one he has for the son, which one is more? Technical way of thinking. I answered the question in that devotional guide yesterday. Then I asked another question. Was Jesus coerced, compelled to go die for the world that is the property of the father? Or was it a shared passion? The answer was simple. The father had loved the son so much. The son knew that daddy loves him. 
and put how many things into his hand? Including the world. So the world became Jesus' own. In other words, if Jesus didn't die, what the Father gave him will do what? We perish. Does that make sense now? So when he was dying for the world, he was dying for what was given to him. So it was a shared passion. In other words, all Jesus, why Jesus could love us so much was because all he ever received from daddy was what? Have you ever seen children who all they ever emit is love? That's because that's all they've been ever given. If you raise your children up in an atmosphere of love, they will think everybody is nice. They will think everybody is good. They will be loving and caring. They will not be building defense mechanism because they believe that the world they live in is a loving place. I have to start educating my children that everybody is not as loving as daddy and mommy. That there's a bigger world out there where people don't care as much as we do. So they have to learn it. It has to be an orientation. So when my daughter uh, was privileged to be, I think it was, they were in the States or something, and then they went into a particular, they, they visited a particular family, and then there was a way she was talked to, and I've never spoken to her like that. She's well behaved, she's not the perfect person, but you know, there's a way a child can behave, you begin to reason with the child, as though you are equal. There's a way a child will behave, you will never draw the child close. Am I talking? On account of the law, parental love you have for the child. So, when she was re relaying the case, the issue to me, she said, Daddy, the way I was raised, are you following? She was intelligent enough to know that there was a way she was raised. She said, the way I was raised was different from the way I was treated in that home. And I couldn't take it. I found myself crying because you never raised us that way. Praise the Lord. You didn't raise us that way. Now, if you have ever enjoyed love, meaning that what you receive is love, the tendency is to be loving. Right? You will be loving because that's what you have. That's why if those of us who are here, let me give you a very simple clue. If you're a young man and you want to marry, look for a girl who has enjoyed love from her parents. If she enjoyed love from daddy and from mommy and from her siblings, most likely you will have a loving wife. If you marry a girl who was never raised up in an atmosphere of love, most likely you will have somebody who will be vengeful, manipulative. Are you following what I'm saying? They'll be very skimish. They'll be divisive. They'll be very manipulative. Because they've never been raised in an atmosphere of love. So it will take a new orientation. So if that girl has a great future, God will give her a father figure that will show her what she never had. Not those who manipulate her or take advantage of her. There are even worst case scenario of girls who were abused by their fathers. God forbid. Right? Sexually abused. Now that girl is wounded. She's shattered. Now, she is now taken to a house of an uncle who is supposed to mentor her or, and bring her up. That one also took advantage of her and then abused her. Double abuse. She will never, it will, take, it will take grace for her not to be thinking that all men are the same. So when she's, if she's getting into a relationship, she will develop a defense mechanism. If she's entering a relationship, this is how she'll be entering. Oh, are yeah, you, ma? I did wait for you. Come show me what you get. She will be prepared to fight because of the way she has been raised. She has been exposed to the things she was exposed to. Hello, am I making sense to you? 
So people who have been raised that way need some help, some correctional measures to their behavioral disorders. I'm talking like a psychologist now, but as a prophet also, that they need help. And that help is available today. Now, if you're here and um, you are like myself, I lost my father when I was very young. Daddy was very loving and very caring. He loved me. I was his firstborn son. But we didn't have a perfect home setting. Daddy and mommy were often quarreling. Mommy would pack her things and go to her maternal home and go and stay. Many times I would go and join her, but I always come back to daddy because there's a way daddy pampers me. He likes me exceptionally. And takes me so close that anytime there's a, a challenge, I used to take his side. I usually stand on the side of daddy. And if, <laughs> forgive me, I'm also a friend to mommy, but anytime mommy offends me, I used to go to daddy to report the matter. Then daddy will give me a cane and say I should keep it. That whenever mommy comes, we we'll use it to flog her. I had a very funny upbringing. Unfortunately, daddy didn't live too long. He died very early. And I missed him a great deal. Sometimes I wish he's around to see me today. Praise God. You see, but the point is that after daddy's demise, I was brought up by an uncle who was really mean. Now, he didn't handle his children the way he handled me. He used iron hand for me. He was always beating me. And I, I was very stubborn. Why I was stubborn was partly because I was made to feel a second place. If you are here and you have children, please take care of them. Amen. Do what? And show them love. Don't pray for opportunity for them to be trained by somebody who didn't give back to them. Because they'll be made to know that they are not in their daddy's home. And there is a way to tell on their psychology. I don't know if I'm making sense to you. Very important. Show them love. So that affected my psychology. And I decided to develop a mechanism against it. Because they will make me to do all the chores. I will be the only one fetching water. I will be the only one washing plate. I will be the only one cooking. So there is no, there's no food I can't cook. As, I, as I'm standing here. It was part of the training. But I wasn't enjoying it initially. <laughs> I'll be made to fill a very big container of water before going to school. And then I'll trek to school. Many times not eating from morning till the closing time. And then I'll trek back in pain. So I went through all of that. Now, when I got born again, I decided that I needed to receive love. I don't know why I think, but I'm a miracle. I will say that because God helped me. He took away those hearts. Otherwise, the only thing I'll be giving today is hearts. But God helped me. He healed me. And because he healed me, I can show love now. Mommy is here. Many times, people who have lived with us, I know how we hurt ourselves to make them happy. And many times, I don't allow my children to oppress them. I said, what, do you, what makes you think you are better than them? You are equally human beings. What happened to them could have happened to you. So love everybody the same. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So I could empathize. I could feel for people who grew up outside the confines of their parents. Because I knew what it means to live without daddy and mommy. And to be raised like that. And not the pain. But when you develop love concept, you are empowered to win the battles of life. I will stop here. Amen. I don't know if I've blessed you. 
Some of you are looking at me one kind. Oh, yeah, stand to your feet. <laughs> Let's appreciate him. Give the Lord praise. Amen. Give the Lord thanks. Bless Jesus. Are you there? Bless Jesus. Can you bless Jesus? Can you bless Jesus? Eliano Balanoa Asadiana Ayamanizo Kila Baranash. There are too many things to pray about right now based on the lectures we've received. But begin to give God thanks for loving you so much. Can you go ahead? Father, thank you for the love wherewith you have loved me. Give him praise. Give him praise. All right. Lift your voice, say, Heavenly Father. Thank you for your mercies and love towards us as a church and as individuals. We bless your holy name in Jesus' name. Let's go ahead and bless him now. Bless the Lord now. Kadosh. Lisa Labatiano. Bleruna Krinatoba. Menado Glia Basadosh. Barandieno Kila Mantanosh. Beilano Santa Ila Ganash. Lakuda Manadia Leso Belina. Breyanti Akuma Randesh. Elaswada Manta Hurakia. Masas Katiano Kibalash Kibalato Shela Nega Balatash Nesus Kibaladianos Entra Patenos Kia Shanila Merogola Prayer 2 Everybody say this after me Heavenly Father Thank you for your spirit of love And of power And of a sound mind We receive the fullness of your Holy Spirit today in Jesus name lift your voice and pray that prayer very important prayer Lord thank you for the spirit of love I open up myself today to the spirit of love oh to the spirit of love Lego double and attach Bandoria back in the halama Zando Rima in Toriana Ligono metoklama Zaina Laina manduri katela maskudia Jida balateno maliva do balagaya Yal vakana yal vakana Holy Ghost fill us up fill me up in particular I need you Lord I need you Jesus I need you Lord I need you Lord Lida na hata kaya In the name of Jesus Say this after me heavenly father let your Holy Spirit take full control of your church and our families and my life and move us in your purpose and plans for your own glory in the name of Jesus. Let's make that our prayers. Holy Spirit, take full control of the church. Lord, let your Spirit take full control. Full control of the church. Full control of the body of Christ. Full control of our families. Full control of our children full control of my life full control of my thoughts my will my emotions my intellect my desires full control of my life nala kudaba sanadia le paroketeno breyando rima cantana la dus kimbara idalas lenos kela haya maliamananta shiga la barataya Thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Please, I beg of you, try and pray this next prayer, very important. Say with me, Heavenly Father, purge and cleanse our hearts and minds from the poison of hatred, bitterness and unforgiveness. Fill our hearts with your love, peace and joy for your name's sake, in Jesus' name. Take that prayer again. Say, Heavenly Father, purge and cleanse our hearts and minds from the poison of hatred, bitterness and unforgiveness. Fill our hearts with your love, peace and joy for your name's sake. In Jesus' name. Can you make that your prayer? Everybody pray, Lord, I yield my heart to you. Purge and cleanse my heart from every hatred, from every anger, from every malice, from every clamor, from every unforgiveness from every hard feeling, resentment, 
Take away every pain. Take away every hurt. Heal me, Lord. I ask for healing. Heal the church. Heal everyone that is hurting. Let your word penetrate every heart. Grano bato grayeza. Zandoria baragadash. Melody zazuskiana. Sadwayana galatash. Maligwa delegatoria. Ezeno de gala. Eyanadash. Bring healing to your people. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. There was a prayer point we I gave today. Two prayer points, and we prayed those prayers for two hours. One was for one hour at, at a stretch. And the first prayer point was for a divine, a divine visitation. Divine visitation that we bring healing to those who are wounded. Wounded by false love. False expectations. Amen? False people. A lot of people have been wounded and they vowed never to love again. Save now so love be to hell with love. There are people that have made vows because they are wounded. The second is that the visitation will bring about restoration of true love. We just heard that God has not given unto us the spirit of fear or of love or power and of a sound mind. So you can actually receive that through a visitation. And thirdly, that that visitation will help those who are blind, blinded by their experiences, blinded by their antecedents, to now begin to see enough to discover through love, especially our young people. Amen. I want us to pray that prayer again, that God will visit his church. Amen. Are you still here? That God will do what? Visit his church. And by visiting us this season to bring healing to every wounded heart, wounded soul, and restore true love. Can we go ahead and pray? Everybody, please. Dura Makadish. Ento Brimanda Lataya. Sanando Riabakanda. Mandrutiga Labahash. Ila Nabakia. Sanida, Manida, Liba Natash, Elitoria Ganash, Cleo Zeta Rama, a divine visitation. Laiko Patanas, Mi Sola Patanaya. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. We give you thanks. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Take your seat. Bring out your prayer. Miracle calendar. Lift it up before the Lord. Go ahead and give him praise. Give him thanks. Ikalamadosh. Elana Bandokoria. Lesodaramendorigadalish. Biyana mando ozila mantianos. Eletuana baligo dea. Le sosto teba la namash. Ma isala diatana. Manda hula kiatana zoria. Leko paramash. I'd like you to begin to mention those items and declare them done. Declare them in the affirmative done. Say to yourself, miracle is a done deal. January miracle is a done deal. February miracle is confirmed. Done deal. March miracle, done deal. April, confirmed. My May is full of laughter, celebration. My June is blessed. My desires are confirmed. My July is favored. My August is blessed. My September is highly favored. Iladagatash Kaliana. My October is blessed. My November 
shall not fail. My December is highly favored. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we pray. Amen. All right, bow your heads and tell the Lord what you want him to do for you through the communion. If I were you, I would say, Lord Jesus, everything that made you you, I want it through this communion. Everything that made you unique, everything that made you the Father's delight, the desire of all nations, I'm connecting to it through this medium. If the life of every soul is in the blood, then I tap into the very life of the Son of God that made him pleasing unto the Father. I know I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And Father, I just want to please you in everything. It's an honor. What an honor to come before you. Blessings and honor and glory and praise be ascribed to the Lamb that was slain from the foundations of the earth to receive power, riches, honor, wisdom, glory and every good thing that was lost in the garden of Eden. Tonight as we partake of this holy communion, we take delivery of every good thing that was lost but received by the death of Jesus on the cross. And by the blood of this communion tonight, we receive total recovery of all that we have lost and we receive victory over every forces of hell. By the broken body of Jesus tonight, we receive healing in our bodies. We receive deliverance in the name of Jesus. If there be anything in our life that could cut short our lives, Father, we decree an end to it through this communion. We receive healing and deliverance. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray.